James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 5th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Partial lunar eclipse of the harvest supermoon is coming. Here's everything you need to know. All full moons are impressive sights on their own, but this month's full harvest moon will be especially noteworthy. In addition to being a slightly larger than average supermoon, September's full moon will also experience a partial lunar eclipse when it rises on the evening of September 17th. What a date! The partial lunar eclipse will be visible from most of North America, all of South America, Europe, all but the easternmost parts of Africa, western portions of Asia and Russia, and parts of Antarctica. Supermoon is a non-astronomical term that describes a full moon that occurs when the moon is at or close to pedigree, the closest approach to Earth in its slightly elliptical orbit. During these times, the moon can appear to be larger in the sky, although the difference can be difficult to notice with the naked eye for most observers. September's full harvest moon is the second of four consecutive supermoons this year, following August's supermoon, blue moon. Lunar eclipses occur when Earth passes between the sun and the moon, casting its shadow on our natural satellite. These eclipses also offer a handy visible reminder of Earth's spherical shape to those of us on the ground, as the umbra forms a curve on the visible disk of the moon. This lunar eclipse is unfortunately a slight one. Only the upper portion of the moon will be plunged into the darkest part of Earth's shadow, known as the umbra. Still, the partial lunar eclipse should provide some interesting contrast on craters and other features on the lunar surface to those with telescopes or even binoculars. Aside from the small, darkened portion at the top of the moon's disk, most of the visible lunar disk will be in Earth's penumbra, the lighter portion of the planet's shadow that does not entirely block the sun's light. This will give most of the moon a reddish-brown, slightly smudged appearance. The timing of the partial lunar eclipse will depend on one's location. For observers in the eastern time zone of the United States, the eclipse will enter its darkest phase when the moon is most covered by Earth's umbra around 10.44 p.m. Eastern Time on September 17th. Europe and Africa will see the eclipse during the pre-dawn hours on September 18th. For London, the eclipse will appear greatest around 3.45 a.m. BST time on September 18th. More signs in the heavens. I can never remember a time that we've seen so many solar and lunar eclipses. Please share our video. Please subscribe and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.